Don't just go through the motions. Go to the job because you go to the job. Don't just go to the class because you go to the class. Have a purpose for everything you're doing, whether it's the job, your relationship. When you get up in the morning, have a purpose for that moment. Have a purpose for that day. Set your intention for how you want that day to go. I want to have a great day. I want to smile. I want to laugh. I want to have abundance. I want to create happiness. I want to impact people, whatever that sounds like. If you like money, fine. That's There's nothing wrong with that. I want to make money today. I want to get eight sales today. I want to book five people today. I want to get one new client today. You got to set your intention for what you want that day to look like. That's what it means to find your purpose. You find your purpose in each moment. Finding your purpose does not have to be some future thought. It is about finding your purpose in that moment, finding direction in that moment, setting your purpose and intention for that moment. And if you do that over and over and over, what you'll create is consistency. What you'll create is abundance. What you'll create is sustainability. And to me, consistency, abundance and sustainability is more important, more relevant than any other type of dream or future planning. So you can stay in the moment, but when you stay in the moment, you do the best with what you have in the moment. The second part of that is this. Failure is a part of success. A lot of people feel as if you fail, that now means get discouraged, slow down, stop the momentum, readjust the entire plan. Failure doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing the wrong thing. Failure is a trigger or or, or should be a awareness point to let you know that this specific behavior with this specific effort didn't work the way that you think or thought it was going to work. It's possible that you may have to change your mindset around what you're grading failure as. It's possible that you might have to add behaviors or subtract behaviors to get the result, the expectation that you were looking for. Don't fail and think that's the end of the road. Don't fail and think it's not a part of success because if you succeed, failure is indeed a part of your success. If you have a problem with something, don't just go through the motions. If you're in school and you don't get what's going on, you need to go see a tutor. If you're at the job and you don't understand why your boss is telling you this, why corporate is sending you this email, you need to ask questions so you can understand the policies, the programs, and the procedures. And your relationship, if you don't understand what's going on, why a certain person is talking to you a certain way, treating you a certain way, you need to ask questions. You need to introspect. Don't go through life just allowing things to happen to you. Ask questions. Understand position. Where are you coming from? I don't quite understand what you're saying. Help me understand. Put me in your shoes so I can understand what we need to get done. Don't act like you have all the answers. That's foolish. It's okay to have questions. It's okay to be curious. In fact, you should always be curious. Help me understand teach me more tell me more what do you mean by this by seeking knowledge by seeking perspectives by seeking awareness and observation so don't reach some type of status and then now all of a sudden you're an egomaniac and you refuse to learn you refuse to stop asking questions you think you're the star on your team or you're the the best salesperson and now you don't want to ask questions you've been in your relationship three four years now you don't want to ask questions now you don't want to get back to the roots you don't want to get back to the basics Don't be that type of person. Always be willing to humble yourself because the outcome is always greater than the people. It takes great people to make great outcome. You are just a part of the team. Always remember that. Peace and love to you.